Another thing we're keeping in mind is, of course, the beautiful weather we're seeing today. We're going to give credit to that to Chief <laughs> Meteorologist Alana Brophy. She's live here at STEM City. Alana, we've been told that that building is open through the weekend, but how are things looking today? Oh, it's fantastic. First of all, it's such a pleasure to be here and be able to see military families and personnel enjoying today's training. It is just incredible to see. And as you look behind me, you see all different agencies. There are so many moving parts when it comes to warriors over the Wasatch. And we want to talk weather because if you are coming out for the weekend, you're going to experience different conditions than what we're seeing today. I have to be honest with you, it's beautiful. Temperatures in Layton right now at Hill Air Force Base sitting at 80 degrees and as you look we just have a light breeze. It is a fantastic day but make no mistake when you are on the tarmac here it gets hot and we're going to add to that heat as we roll into your Saturday. Live view from southern Utah. Speaking of heat they're no strangers to it as they've hit the triple digits already down there. Our Black Desert Sky Camp showing lower Washington County as they sit at 102. In northern Utah or even towards Castle Country that live view shows a little cloud cover so that's the idea that lingering moisture is still present on the eastern side of the state. Now that's leading to a few storms to bubble up with the heat of the day. Satellite radar shows that. And you notice towards the Uinta Basin, a storm or two popping up. And then near the four corners where we see more cloud cover. So that lingering moisture following that organized cold front we saw yesterday, still out there, isolated storm potential. While the rest of us are dry and enjoy below average temperature, 70s in Cache Valley, we've got 80s right now in Salt Lake, sitting at 84, a few degrees below average. Looking at temperatures for the rest of your evening. If you're going out for your Friday, we're going to steadily decline as we drop into the 70s. It's going to be a really beautiful night and dry overall. Now, I talked about the heat changing for the weekend, but there's also a wind uptick. We're going to talk about fire danger as we roll into the weekend coming up in your full forewarned forecast. But for now, the excitement is palpable. This is such a cool spot. STEM City is where I'm located, where you can actually bring the kids. It's shaded, a lot of great exhibits, and it's one of those things that you can enjoy when you're out at Warriors over the Wasatch.